Did you just find out now how yeah. Fiona did? Yeah. She broke it open. I knew she was gonna, yeah, that's amazing. Oh my god, I'm so happy for her. I honestly was just thinking about her up there. I was in a lot of pain, but I just wanted to finish it. Gutting out that first marathon, you must have thought about dropping out. What was your thought process to, to stay in it? Yeah, I thought about that in the second loop, big time. Um, but just with all the people out there, um, I wasn't going to give up hearing them cheer for me. I just wanted to know if I could do it. Did the build-up feel, how did, the, how did that go for you? Do you feel like you're a marathoner now? Do you feel like you got some work to No. <laughs> uh, it's been really hard. Um, I, I want to try again. Um, it's, it's for a type A personality, and that's not my personality. And you really have to do everything right, and I have a lot of room for improvement, um, but uh, it's still exciting because, um, you know, sometimes you just have to, like, get a couple out of the way, and, like, I still showed up, I still got to the finish line, I'm happy with it. Are we all on the roads now, or are you thinking about keeping it a no, track season? Uh, especially after this. <laughs> I'm ranked third in the 10 and the 5, so Olympics aren't over for me. I'm going to be ready to redeem myself on the track and, um, yeah, brush this off and be happy for my teammate and try to make Paris with her. So what is part of training for this race? Um, it's just like it doesn't suit my personality. <laughs> um, we really have to be diligent about all the tiny little details. You can't, you can't make it off of talent. And I got by my whole career just off of talent and, um, it's time to get all my ducks in a row. Yeah. Um, so overall, a really good learning experience, and I'm excited for the future. So yeah. Thanks so much, Natasha.